Good Sunday evening, meteorologist Jordan Young with your water vapor loop shows that area of high pressure right centered over us, a lot of dry air. Now there is a front approaching from the west, but it will be a dry front and will quickly push off to the east. We'll continue with those warm temperatures Monday and Tuesday, but a front will bring some showers and some thunderstorms on Wednesday. Cooler temperatures though arrive for the end of the week and the possibility of a gulf system bringing some more rain on Friday. But for Monday, we're expecting just a couple showers in the mountains elsewhere. It's going to be partly sunny with temperatures very warm 70s across the I-95 corridor as you move in towards I-85 mid-60s. Not too bad. For Tuesday, we warm up even a little more with more sunshine and we have temperatures in the 60s and even some 70s again for Tuesday. For Wednesday, we have more clouds, some light rain, possibly some showers and storms east of Interstate 77. Right now, we're not expecting widespread severe weather with this system, but there will be some storms. Temperatures, though, they will be relatively cool. They will be mainly below average for this time of year. As we move into Thursday, we continue with those below average temperatures, partly sunny skies, temperatures in the mid-50s, and then on Friday, there are indications that the front that pushed through on Wednesday is going to retrograde back in from the Atlantic and allow an area of low pressure to develop on that. So that will bring some showers and possibly a couple of thunderstorms along the coast and even some mountain snow showers on Friday, but that's very far off. The models are conflicting exactly with the track of this system, the GFS a little farther off the coast, the European a little closer to the coast. So we'll continue to monitor this situation. I'll continue to post updates on WXJordan.com. Thank you for your time. I'm meteorologist Jordan Young.